Hi, so welcome back. Uh, if you saw last week's video, you will know that I promised a another RV tour. Last week's video was an RV tour, but I promised a RV tour baby edition. And I had grand plans for that tour. It was going to be very nicely filmed. That's not the case anymore. We're going to do this on the phone just by ear. We're just going to go and just do it. Um, because things changed. Plans uh, did not go the way they had planned. Um, I was going to film that after our baby shower and then edit it and after everything was organized and in place. I'd get it, like, upload it, schedule it, ignore it, and then I was going to wait a few weeks and then I was going to have a baby. Well, <laughs> um, this little man decided to come eight weeks early. So we have had quite the whirlwind. So yeah, things did not go as planned. Um, our schedule kind of got all out of whack because um, everything became about him. I went into labor at 31 and a half weeks. Uh, we spent four days in the hospital trying to stop labor. They sent me home and by the next morning it was clear that labor was not stopped. And so he came at 32 weeks exactly and spent about four weeks in the NICU. So all we've been doing is getting this guy home. He's been home for about five days now. So that's great. He's doing so well. Um, he was born at 16 and a half inches long and four pounds. What were you? Four pounds, 13 ounces. And then he got down to four pounds, three ounces in the first week. And then by the time he left the NICU, he was five pounds. 14 ounces so he is doing really well um and we are so proud of him but because of that i did not get the nice video filmed that i thought i was gonna film um and so i'm just gonna kind of take you guys through the rv and show you all of the different locations uh that are storing baby stuff have baby things baby centric locations uh, it's kind of nice actually that i'm doing it this way because i would have done it showing you oh this is how we're planning to do this and this is how we're planning to do that um but now I can show you this is how we have our RV set up and how it's working for a newborn. So he is a month old now, but um, he's a month, it's a month, still a month before his due date. So adjusted age, he's negative one month. Um, so this is really how we have it set up for a new, new baby. And of course, as he grows and things change, um, the RV will change, but come along and I will just give you a brief, quick overview of all of the stuff we have for him and how we are making it work in a RV small space. Um, if you are new to this channel, if you're here just to see how do you make an RV work with a baby, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Uh, and if you want to see a more detailed version of the RV itself, you can watch last week's video. And I will also link the video I made a year ago when we first moved into this RV. This is all about how we store stuff for the baby. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good thing to live. So we're going to start here in the kitchen. This is our kitchen. Um, it is in the rear of the trailer. And this is actually where we have the most amount of floor space as well. So as he grows, this is where lots of tummy time and playing is going to take place. And so because of that, over here in the left cabinet is all of his toys and books and blankets. Um, I'm sure that this will change over the months as he grows. But right now it just has some books for us to read him for us to read to him, some blankets, and then underneath the books are a couple little toys that he's actually kind of too young for still, but we'll get there. Over here in the sink, we have dirty dishes, <laughs> baby dishes. Um, and then over here in this corner, we have, oh, he is on a mix of um, breast milk and um, preemie formula that the NICU sent us home with. So we have his formula and his little lunch box if we take iced formula somewhere and this bin these bins from the hospital are amazing and so I brought one home and they are such good storage solutions actually so we have all of my pumping supplies and bottles and all that stuff over here and that is the kitchen set up for like everything that we've changed for the baby over here is our dining setup 
Um, I don't remember if when I filmed our RV tour, we had this new table. I might have just told you guys we were getting a new table because I filmed that other video a while ago, even though it only went up last week for you guys. But anyways, we have this new table and we have this high chair, which is going to be a long time before he is ready to use it, probably at least six months. Um, but so right now it is just holding my pump and my pumping bra, actually. Um, and then this, this is great. This has been one of the most useful, helpful things for us to have in the RV um, is this basket and in it has all of the quick grab things that you're going to need to take care of this boy. So we have diapers. He actually just graduated to newborn diapers um, today because we ran out of preemie diapers. He still fits in preemie diapers, but they're snug enough that we didn't want to buy more preemie diapers and have them grow out before we finished it wipes diaper cream blankets all of the just quick and easy stuff you're gonna need to grab when he needs a diaper change or a snuggle or something underneath there i'm not gonna empty it out but it is spare pump parts and larger diapers that he is not ready for yet all the diapers didn't fit under there so we have diapers over here and this backpack is his diaper bag so we are gonna work our way this way. We're gonna stop in the office real quick. The office is a hot mess. Um, I did not clean it for this video, but um, we have this little bassinet, which I bought at Once Upon a Child, impulse bought for 20 bucks, thinking we might use it. And we actually use it all of the time. It folds up and Velcros, and then we can just take it with us places. Um, but mainly we use it for if Matt is working and Ben is taking a nap in here next to him, or we will actually often put it on the kitchen table and leave it there, um, while Matt or I are hanging out in the living room and we want him in the same room as us, but he's sleeping. So if we make our way out of the bath, or not the bathroom, the office, the bathroom is up here on our left. There's nothing really going on in there for the baby at this point. And then we make our way into the bedroom, which is kind of a mess. But on the bed, we have our boppy pillow, which I use for breastfeeding a lot. Hey, buddy. And then over here on my side of the bed, we have this hatch nightlight, which um, is kind of pricey. My husband was like, we don't need that. And he was kind of right we got it as a gift though i put it on the register and we got it as a gift and i love it so much and it offers a nice diffused light so that matt can sleep when i'm getting up in the middle of the night with the baby without getting blinded by the regular light up above and then the last real baby location is his bed so let me stand back so you can get a better look oh i just crashed into this fan we have on the ground here so this is the slide wardrobe and it had three doors. I need to clean that mirror, but it had three doors across with mirrors. We took off two of the doors and the middle post and this is all Ben's stuff. So um, we made this platform. We bought this specifically sized mattress. My mom made the sheets for us. That blanket does not... I mean, it does stay in there, but he's that's a swaddle blanket that I took him out of when he woke up this morning. So it's not like there's just a blanket floating around in his bed most of the time. We got this cargo netting at the craft store, and um, there's this dowel, and these brackets are holding it up. And it works great for now. Once the baby is mobile and, you know, getting into stuff, we're probably going to have to come up with a better solution for a bigger baby. But for a little infant, this works great. And then because it's open, we have another cargo net over here that blocks him from the secondary hamper. We have a first hamper and then a second hamper for when this one fills up because laundry was done two days ago and already that's where we're at with the laundry between the three of us. So we have two hampers. Down underneath of the bed section, we have two drawers, and this is really all he gets with the exception of a um, 
He has a legal size box under the bed for clothes that are too big. And I'm not going to show you guys that, but that's there. So over here we have everything I need to change his diaper in the middle of the night. So a changing pad so that he doesn't get my bed dirty. Some diapers. Oh, he has a couple of preemies left. We're going to use those up. Some blankets, Vaseline. Um, wipes. Over here we have burp cloths. Here we have um, my nipple cream for breastfeeding. Sunscreen, diaper cream. This is actually for me. That's after sun lotion. It's not for him. And then over here we have his clothes that he currently fits into. So we have hats. And we have um, shorts and pants and bottoms and onesies and sleepers. And so all of his clothes that he currently fits, actually some of them are still a little bit too big, all of his preemie and newborn clothes fit in that one drawer. All right, I had to stop filming in order to feed the little guy, but he is fed and back in bed, and I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed um, meeting our little boy and also um, seeing how we have organized the RV for a baby. We don't have a lot of stuff, but we have everything we need, and it's going so great so far. Um, things will definitely change as he grows and gets older, but for now, this is perfect. So thanks for watching. Also, if you have been following along, don't be surprised if you don't see any videos from us for a while. I think we're going to take the most, most of the rest of the year kind of off of making videos and just get to know our little guy. Um, we're kind of sitting still. We're not going to have too many big grand adventures until probably about January or February. So don't be surprised if you don't see any videos until then. Um, but thank you for joining us on this journey. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe or check back in in the new year. And that would be great. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys whenever the next time is. Bye. Today.